During a break from being in service, Toby the Tram Engine was feeling bored, and he wanted to get out of the yard and stretch his wheels with Henrietta. Just then, Gordon popped into the yard to take on water. What are you getting back into passenger services again? He asked. A wee time, replied Toby. Such a shame you did so well shutting my train yesterday. All I long for is a good run, Gordon, remarked Toby. On my old tramway, me and Henrietta got a good long run. I pull both passengers and trucks. Holidaymakers came and went, and they always remembered me and Henrietta's names. It would have stayed that way if my line wasn't closed for bankruptcy. I really do wish it would come back. Bah, snorted Gordon. Homesickness is not an option for doing work, Toby. Your place is here on the railway. That is as good as it gets. And he puffed away. He's right, remarked Thomas. I know, replied Toby. It's just so boring sitting here doing nothing. We're working on the construction side of the new mainline extension if you'd like to help out, said Thomas. It's a special extension that the Fat Controller has authorized for holidaymakers to come and see. You can take my trade over there while I collect the Fat Controller. Toby was excited. Come on, Toby, said his driver. We'll go along Thomas's branch line so you can get a good long run. Toby was now beaming with joy. He was coupled to the trucks and he set off to the construction site. But as he puffed down the line, he started to wonder if Gordon was wrong. At the site, Percy was waiting impatiently for Thomas. We've been here for two hours, lads. Relax, said the driver. You've not told him about the special surprise yet? Percy was puzzled. What surprise? Before he got an answer, Toby arrived. You're at a building's place, Percy, he said. How come Thomas isn't here? Percy asked. He's supposed to be collecting a heavy load of dug up trees. I can do it if you want, Toby said. Percy eyed a long line of trucks, full of dug up trees and sawdust. If you could take this airwood station for me, then that would be excellent, he explained. Toby rolled onto the Y junction and waited for the signalman to change the points. He then buffered up to the trucks and pushed them backwards up the hill to get to the brake van waiting at the top. Toby had to push the trucks up the big hill and wait for Percy to tell the signalman to change the points so he could start on his way. But before he could reach the top and apply his brakes, the trucks started messing with the weight of the train. The driver shut off steam and applied the brakes, which made no difference. When he opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy arrived as quick as possible. Are you alright, Toby? He panted. Never been better, Toby replied. This is my old tram line. I thought it was torn up years ago. I, I never thought I would have seen this place again. Thomas arrived with the builders and the fat controller. He spoke to Toby first. How come you'd know brave average, Toby? He asked. It was left at the top of the hill by someone, replied Toby. Well, as long as you're not here, that's the important thing. Though it is a shame that you spoiled your own surprise. Toby looked around in confusion. My surprise? He asked. Yes, Toby, replied the fire controller. The main line extension is a restoration. We're going to restore your tramway and connect it with the main line and Thomas's branch line. I'm finally home! With the tram line finally restored after many months of construction, Toby and Henrietta took a special train of passengers on the opening run. For Toby in particular, it was like home never left him.